I say. Well, I Gaza, no, we'll no, be playing you may not say that. Sorry? You may not say that. All oh, right, OK, I'll, so, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, we Would you like to do the rest time. of it? No, I shall. <laughs> Gaza will also be joining us because uh, we played football with him in Newcastle recently. That was Neil, myself and, uh, and Gabby. Who else is on here? Oh, yes, Terry Nutkins is joining oh, yes. us live in the studio and oh, he's bringing an octopus in. A real octopus. A real octopus. Yeah! Great to meet you, Mike and Angelo. Wanted for rustling hamburgers. He says he was roped into it. that Mr. Muscle tackles the filthiest of jobs with plenty of muscle, we gave it to someone with none. Our oven cleaner devours the greasiest ovens cold. And the kitchen cleaner, all it takes is a little squirt. Mr. Muscle loves the jobs you hate. That's it. What was that? What, 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 what? That's new. What was that? What, 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 what? <laughs> That's new. What was that? <laughs> what, 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 what? That's new. What was that? What, 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 what? What, 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 what? What was that? What, 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 what? It's a new crunchy what's it. Bob is into fashion, from fashion finds. Bobby fashion. To haute couture, we're into Bobby, Bobby. When you get a cold, you often get a bunged up nose and a sore throat. You feel like your nose belongs to someone else and your throat isn't your own. Double trouble. To treat your cold, Lockett's has a unique double action. Outside, penetrating menthol to help clear your nose. Inside, a liquid honey center to soothe your throat, making you feel like your old self again. For double trouble, double action Lockett's help clear your nose and soothe your throat. To look after your daisies during the coming months, firstly, select the correct pot. Add a little peat. Treat to a little flora that's high in polyunsaturates, low in saturates, and low in cholesterol. Now, transplant to the nursery and leave to settle. While you check your new seedlings. Flora margarine for your blooming generation. Tony, stop it glowing! Hey, your secret! Stop glowing! 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 Oh, no! Tiger Man! But, sir, only Kellogg's Frosties have the secret formula that makes them... Great! That's a rubber tree. Yikes! You can't keep a secret. They're great! Salutations. Bird's Eye have requested that I converse with the populace. I've asked him to talk to you. Concerning the gastronomic superiority of Bird's Eye waffles. About how good the waffles are. Pulverized Solanum tuberosum. Mashed potato. Sauteed frangible exterior. Crispy coating. Structured into equilateral rectangles. Squares. Mmm. Superlatively palatable. Make a meal of it with a Bird's Eye potato waffle. Andy, does anybody actually have any idea what the motor mouth is? Well, you today? might not, but no. you certainly will a little bit later. No, we'll and we'll find out more details later. But now, it's, now, right now, it's time for Mike and Angelo, and uh, she has to become a TV presenter. He came from another dimension, from a different universe beyond infinity, and he fell to Earth with a bump into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Ask Rita King. Better still, ask her son Mike, whose world is turned upside down when Angelo comes to stay. What's the show? It's Mike and Angelo. Come to 
from the builder's skip, abandoned, discarded, an unloved poor little fellow. His sad little glass eyes seem to look up at me and say, Hey, Glockett, get me out of this blasted thing or I'll chuck a brick at you. Well, what could I do but bring him home? I'm going to fix him up. Give him a new lease of life. Oh, lovely. Oh, you won't recognise old Charlie boy by the time I've finished. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's from Mike. <gasps> from Mike? He's my best friend, you know. Oh, he's gone away on a school trip, but he'll be back tomorrow. Oh, you'll like him. Let's have a look at this. Oh. <laughs> Dear Nong and Angelo, having a great time here in Grighton. Weather is beautiful, but the food is pretty bad. <laughs> Played rolly gall on the geach and went goating on the cond in the cark. All the guests, Guy Canal, Nike. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Seems like a nice guy. Oh, he's a very nice boy. It'll be a pleasure to meet him. Oh, well, that's easy for you to say, Sunshine. But can you sing Bye Bye Blackbird while I'm drinking this glass of milk? I bet you can't. I'll get I can. Oh. <laughs> You've made me do, you naughty, naughty boy. You're going to help me clean this little lot up, matey. Me? You must be joking. <laughs> now. Don't you worry your little wooden head, Charlie, old chap. I'll soon have you as good as new. In fact, I'll have you better than you. Yeah, yeah, fine, I'll be here. Um, okay, what, what, what's it all about? Oh, okay, right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, then, bye. Lady. Ah Cheeky Charlie, that's me. Cheeky by name, cheeky by nature. Know what I mean, missus? Know what I mean? Did I ever tell you about my little doggy? I call him Santa, because he's always leaving little packets round the house. <laughs> Laugh! <laughs> I nearly did. But I don't mean no offence, missus, as if I would. And speaking of wood, I've a little wooden head, I've a little wooden tongue. And when I'm tired, I sit me down on my little wooden bird. That's enough of that, missus. Here, come here. Did you hear what happened last night? Some thieves broke into the police station and stole all the toilets. Terrible. The police have got nothing to go on. <laughs> it's a funny old world. I was just saying to the wife only the other day when we were playing leapfrog on the beach. I can't get over this. Those were my words exactly. I had to go and get a pair of step ladders. Angelo, are you doing this? I can't see your lips move. I wish I could say the same thing about my wife. <laughs> hey, Charlie, that's enough. I'm not saying my no, wife. No, that's enough. Well, what do you think, eh? A few modifications. <laughs> and voila! The Angelo patent pending, automatronic, fully robotic, digitally synthesized Charlie, Mark One. Oh, cute. Uh, now, listen, Angelo, my boss is coming around to see me this evening. Something important's come up. You weren't thinking of going out by any chance, were you? No. Oh. <sighs> me and Charlie are going to stay in. He wants me to meet his uncle. Uh, his uncle? Who's that? Mm. Uh, the coffee table in the sitting room. <laughs> Now we'll have a few laughs. Angelo! I'll get it. Right, mister. What a lovely briefcase. Isn't oh, that... Hi, Mrs. Roper. Oh, Come in. Good evening, Rita. Beautiful. Oh, you're all oh, wet. Oh, uh, did you get parked all right? Um, let me take your coat. Angelo, would you mind? Make some tea. Certainly. Of course I will. Right. Come on through. Would you like some oh. and sushi? <laughs> uh, that's, um, Angelo, my lodger. He's from out of town. Um, come on through. Right, 
So, we'll sit down. <clears throat> right, I'll get straight to the point, Rita. I've just come from the studio. Mm -hmm. We're in trouble, big trouble. Oh, dear. Here's the situation. Uh, tea's up. Oh, for heaven's sake. As you know, we've got the Prime Minister coming in to be interviewed on tomorrow night's show. Yeah. Oh, big event, huh? Indeed, but there's a problem. Shall I be mother? What? Yes, be mother. Rita King, you naughty little girl. How many times do I have to tell you not to keep poking your tongue in the doc's ear? <laughs> One lump or two? Hmm? Uh, no, I don't take sugar. Oh, sweet enough, eh? <laughs> of course you are. Angelo. Muffin. Pardon? Muffin. Would you like a muffin? No. Oh, right. So, that's a muffin for me and nothing for you. <laughs> nothing for you. <laughs> Come on, crack a smile. As you've probably heard, I asked Dan Bartlett to do the interview. Yeah. Phew. Rather him than me. <laughs> He's dropped out. You're doing it. Uh, what? <gasps> Rita, you interviewing the Prime Minister. God, that's really exciting, eh? Can I come? Uh, Can I come? You're, you're, you're kidding me. You're not kidding me. You want me to go on television tomorrow night and interview the Prime Minister? That's right. Whoa, well, I, I don't know. I, uh, uh sure, great. <laughs> Good, let's get down to business. Here's my outline of the way I visualize the interview going. Uh -huh. As you can see, the... Look out, you! Oh, you oh, idiot! Oh, oh, oh. Don't panic. I'll mop it up. I'll use this old rag. That's my silk headscarf, you <gasps> fool. Excuse me. No. One moment. <laughs> Are we going somewhere, Rita? Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mrs. Roper. Now, to work. Okay, now, uh, you probably want to take some notes. Right, thank you. Now, obviously, the major issue at the top of the agenda is the state. I'm depending on you, Rita. Just you keep your nerve and it'll all go fine. Well, good night. Uh, goodbye, Mrs. Roper. Oh, Mrs. R, you're not leaving, are you? I haven't seen you, my little Charlie. Good night, Rita. Uh, bye. Oh, come on, come in now. Oh, I didn't mean for you to stand out in the rain for four hours. Come on, I'll make you a hot drink. Oh, no, I've got to go upstairs. What for? Just fancy a shower. Oh, come on. <laughs> Mrs. Roper, what happened? My car won't start. It's this blessed rain. It gets in the engine. Oh, dear. Come in, come in. It's pointless calling out a garage on a night like this. I'll just have to phone for a taxi. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, uh, I'm making a hot drink. W would you like one? Thanks. I'll just make this call and then I'll be off. What? That's outrageous. I'm not waiting two hours for a taxi. Same to you. Mm. Can't get a taxi, eh? I'll give you a lift. Do you have a car? No. Come on, climb up. Come on, uh, come on. No <laughs> luck, huh? Hopeless. Oh, dear. Well, I would drive you myself, but unfortunately, I loaned my car to my mother for the week. I'll have to walk. What, in this weather? What else can I do? Well, um, well, you could stay here. My, my son's away. You could have his room. Well. Oh, it's no problem, really. Oh, all right, then. I suppose it'll have to do. <sighs> Important day tomorrow. I must get some sleep. Right. I'll, uh, I'll take you up. Go. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good night, Mrs. R.
Mrs R. There's an ugly little thing in my room. Oh, Mike can't be back already. It's not a person, it's a freak. Ghastly little wooden face smiling at me. Horrible, horrible. Charlie. Charlie. What? Charlie. How could this happen? Oh, I don't know. Rita, look. There he goes, shilling down the drain pipe. Oh, my. Rita. Oh, uh, no, no, nothing in here that we can see. You you were probably dreaming again. It seems so real. Oh, um, well, uh, I, I wouldn't worry about it. You better get some sleep. Big day tomorrow. <laughs> Today, whatever. Yes, yes, uh, I suppose so. Well, um, good night again. <laughs> Nighty night. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, oh, stop messing about. Oh, come to Daddy. Where are you? Um, uh, you, you go in the kitchen, I'll go in there. <laughs> Can't catch me, Missus. in the morning. Been up all night. I'm frazzled. This is it. This is the one. When he claps eyes on this little lot, he won't be able to resist it. Mm. Come on. Hide. Hide. Come on, quick. Hello, hello. Watch this then, eh? No entry. Strictly private. Ooh, sounds cheeky to me. And early, that's what I like to see. Oh, yes, up for the lark, that's me. <laughs> Better get dressed. A lot to do today. And remember to wear something smart for the interview. Oh, yes, smart. Yes, sure. <laughs> well, quick cup of tea, and then we'd best make tracks. <sighs> what was that? Um. Oh, it's a mice. <laughs> Dutch mice. <laughs> they will insist on wearing those clogs round the house. <laughs> Shall I make you that cup of tea? After you. Eat socks, Charlie. <laughs> Everything's fine. She's gone off to find a taxi. Oh, yes. And you have a cup of coffee. It's all under control. Relax. Uh. 
Guess who's home? Michael! Hiya, Mike! Can you miss me? What's been going on here? Oh, don't even ask. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh, listen, honey, I am sorry, but I've got to fly. You can tell me all about your holiday later, okay? And Angelo can tell you what your clever old ma is doing today. See you later. <laughs> and Angelo, put that thing back on the skip where you found it, will you? Oh. <laughs> What thing? What's she talking about? <laughs> what have you done this time? Oh, wait till you see this. It's okay, Charlie. You can come out now, if you behave yourself. Charlie? <laughs> Charlie? Charlie? Where are you, Charlie? Oh, oh, he's gone again. I give up. Kids today. You can have them. <laughs> this is it, this is it! Woo! Good evening, I'm Rita King, and tonight we have a newsroom special on this, the eve of the Mid-Staffordshire by-election. We're privileged to have with us tonight the Prime Minister, who's taken time out of a busy schedule to come along and answer a few questions. Good evening, Prime Minister. Good evening, missus. Did you hear the one about the goat, the bucket and the bicycle pump? On next week's show... Oh, look. There's a goat with its head in my refrigerator. But <laughs> am I surprised in this house? No. Uh, Rita King, Glenda Goat. Glenda Goat, Rita King. <laughs> Delighted to meet you, I'm sure. So, Angelo, before I tear my hair out and stuff it down your throat, are you going to give me an explanation or not? What about? Oh, 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 Glenda, the goat. <laughs> well, they should have no, come to me. Right. I could have told them all about presenting, because I know about that thing. Do you, Scully? Oh. Give me a couple of tips on how to do this next piece okay, of it. Project yourself, be yeah. lively, energetic, yeah. enthusiastic. OK, fine. Go well, despite it. the London boys, pop will eat itself.